no idea where I'm going. Apparently this is the start. Still don't have an idea where I'm going. Oh shit, my phone! I have to find my phone. So do I. Hey guys, uh, today is coming completely different, well actually this weekend was completely different. I'm spending some time in, in Durbanville, Babel, Durbanville area, and I'm riding Magic Forest. Now, I don't know anything about Magic Forest, I need that i am put it up here. Um, Magic Forest on Trail Forks, and I'll put the link in below, um, but the trail, uh, what Trail Forks is about Magic Forest. Um, Magic Forest is a, a green trail, if I believe, or blue trail, blue trail, I can't remember. And um, it's about 17, 16, 17 k's long in total. Um, some gnarly climbs up the hill. Um, I wouldn't call it like Tukai Forest, a mountain type, but it's it's punchy hills. It is um, it gets you in the gets you in the lungs pretty quick. You have to be pretty pretty afraid to climb up here, and it's quite rough. And um, the first time I rode it was a bit of a mistake. It was a bit of a balls up. It was a hot day. I was riding, and I thought, you know what? I could put my phone in my back pocket. And um, it won't be too gnarly, won't be too anything. And the only day that I actually put my phone in my back pocket, I lose my phone. I lost my phone um, at the top um, of um, the lower, lower section of, or top of lower Magic Forest. And some guy uh, thankfully picked it up. And I only realized at the bottom of the trail I lost my phone, so I skedaddled back up to the trails, met some people, told them about it, and they managed to phone my phone, and this guy answered. And consequently, he immediately put it on the Magic Forest Facebook page, which is quite incredible. Um, so he answered, he asked a few questions, and I raced back to him to get my phone back. Um, and thank goodness I did get my phone back. And it makes you really think about how valuable your phone is to you. Um, when it comes to your, your personal data and your information and your videos, your family pictures, it's very valuable. Um, the fact that you lost, uh, that I lost my phone, I didn't have any ways to communicate with my wife or anybody around me. It, it was quite daunting to, <laughs> to lose your phone. You kind of feel naked immediately, like, oh my God, my phone, such a little device. Well, it's not little, it's quite fat and expensive, but it, it gives you a wake up call saying, Yo, what happened to my phone? I can't do anything. I'm actually useless without my phone. So yes, um, that was a mistake. So today, I'm doing, as you can see, a different section of of, um, of Magic Forest. I'm doing the upper or something. I haven't done the upper part yet, but I'm only doing this section over here. And um, it's a bit of a climb uh, to get here. I'd walk the last bit over here. Um, so let's see what this little section holds. Uh, so far, Magic Forest to me, it was like it's not too high. It hasn't got the technicality behind it. It's got nice, some, some nice little single track uh, cut out. My only gripe with, uh, with this with, with the Magic Forest is there are no signage to say this is where you're supposed to go. Because it's for, for, for trail runners, for hikers, for mountain bikers, kids and or kids and dogs, or maybe not. But it would be nice to show arrows where to go because and the lower section where the dam is, I had no idea where I'm going. I was just following a trail. I don't know if I was allowed to be there or not. So it would have been nice if there's like signage. It's Tiger, Tigerberg a mountain bike uh, uh, club. They, they're responsible for the maintenance of it. But yeah, some signage would be nice saying this way up or this way right if you want to do this. So I had to rely on trail forks a lot um, to where I'm going. Um, I'm still like art fasting about to see where I'm going. But um, yeah, let's 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 ride this trail and see what happens. Oh, I'm not ready for that. Um, then oh, it goes this way. I have no idea. Thank you. 
grass for my bike. Uh, let's figure out just where grass for is. Uh, that's tight, that's tight. Oh well. Where am I going? It goes around and around and around. <laughs> that is funny. Help! Is that chicken run? Is it a climb? Let's run out. Paint this zigzag zigzag up here. This time in the morning. Oh, 
Because that's Blumendal. I'm just holding it up. <sighs> Was that the A line? Oh, it is right. One thing I have to get used to is this blue sand.
Thank you very much. Thank you. No puppy. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I don't know if that thing is. quite slippery. Yep, slippery. Beautiful. Dams. Hello, Bobo. <sighs> Where's his owner? Oh, there he is. No, Sorry. take your time, don't worry about it. I'm enjoying the scenery. <laughs> I just rescued a fish. I oh, did you? Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> Another life saved. <laughs> Maybe you wanted to be there. Who knows? Yeah, I never know. <laughs> Nobody knows the mines of fish. <laughs> good draw walk. Well, there we go, another fish saved.
Yeah, it's nice. Didn't do it last time. Right next to the highway, don't you? Well, those could be quite treacherous. It's coming too fast. No, it's like that way. Hey guys. Coming down Magic Forest where the lakes are or the dams are is quite actually quite nice. Nice and peaceful. And uh, the day the Saturday or Sunday that I was here, uh, there was a lot of kids sitting around. I was quite amazed how many Teenagers are sitting around the dam or the lake, whatever you want to call it, and um, just chatting and having fun, not sitting behind an Xbox, which is a fresh take of things. But then again, why would you swap an Xbox for this? I mean, look at the beauty. It's, it's peaceful, it's relaxing, it's healthy. I think it's a good alternative, but I think. Like Tukai, they have the lake right on top of uh, what they call it, uh, Silvermine Loop. But it's it's quite a trick to get there. A lot of people spend a lot of time there. But um, for teenagers, it's a you don't walk out your front door and stand by the lake. You actually have to go for a hike to go to the lake. And so oh, a lot of kids, that's a lot of effort, I think. Um, and I think I think we need a lot more parks um, in the area of Tukai, um, not just the forest parks itself that people can sit and relax around dams and stuff. I think that's a, that's a healthy alternative than sitting at home and playing Xbox.